Hey guys, it is Storm. I hope you are well. It's raining in Minecraft. Wouldn't have it any other way. And what I thought I would do in this video is take a look at some interior designs of the Eco House uh, tutorial that I posted on my channel a couple of days ago. This is some of the, the questions and feedback that you guys were leaving on that particular video. And you wanted to know what could an interior design look like for a house of this kind of look. And this is what I've come up with. It's quite simple in terms of its layout, its overall structure and what you have in a building like this. Might have gone overboard with a little bit with the flowers and pot plants. But I think, uh, hey, nothing wrong with a bit of colour in a house design like this. It's all el natural, so that's what they say. And uh, yeah, I think that the kind of blocks in the placements in a interior design like this works quite well. Um, we've got the basic essentials here. You'll still get uh, 30 levels by using a crafting table here. Well, not a crafting table, but an enchantment table uh, with the um, bookshelves with the placements like this. And there's basically all the other main uh, blocks and furnaces, etc. that you need to really make this a functional and working area. And I think a design like this, it's quite simple to make. And, yes, and it's practical, really, for a house design of this kind of size. Now something with the... Uh, thought that was a bit of a delayed uh, thunder there. The lightning must have been far away. Um, yeah, it is around the stained glass windows and what it looks like when you look in of a house with an overall uh, look like this. I think it looks awesome. I really do. With When you've got that little bit of light and the few block placements in a house like this, it really pops when you look through a window and yeah, I think it looks cool. So that's why I like to leave the main interior along the, the very middle parts of the room open as I can for this very reason. So when you're looking through the windows, it looks pretty cool. So something else that you guys had asked about was different shapes and sizes for a house of this kind of um, structure. Building these things out of the, um, the dark oak saplings or the rooftop saplings that you get from those rooftop forest foams. And this is a very small version of a house like this, so same concept, just building it out of the saplings. Saplings? The saplings. No, the saplings. And yeah, it's just throwing in some windows and crafting out the inside. And this is basically a more of a utility shed, I guess you could call this, um, where you've got your basic um, components of, you know, cooking up your blocks or chanting etc and yeah I think a size like this works quite well as well um, also with a different flooring here as well so this is just using the white stained is it stained it's definitely the white clay blocks the hardened clay blocks and yeah I think this looks quite nice as well so the smallest size uh, version of this house I think looks quite well looks or quite nice rather and yeah the the overall roof design and height that you get uh, even with this smaller kind of house or shed um, I think it proportionally looks quite good as well now a medium version this is just a medium version that I came up with also works um, there was uh, some comments left around um, it's not very flexible in terms of having a rectangular shape like this it doesn't look as natural uh, but I think when you've got the flexibility of just building out of natural blocks like this essentially trees you can basically make your house or your structure as complex or as large as you want. So this is a larger version, this is a smaller version, and I guess you could say this is a medium version. And I think they all work quite well. So let's take a look on the inside of this one. Um, this has basically got the main uh, house living requirements that you have for a Minecraft house. And there's still enough room in a medium house of this size to put in your basic materials and blocks and storage, etc. And yeah, I think this looks quite nice as well. So there you go, that's three different sizes and yeah, I think they all have their different uh, looks and you can make them as unique as you want um, with the basically the, the power of building out of trees. So you can't, you don't have to make them rectangular, these all, these aren't as rectangular as, are you invading my place buddy? Who invited you in? <laughs> yeah, you stay out. And uh, yeah, so if you don't like the rectangular look, not a problem. Go with these a little bit more rounder or the rounded corners on this type of house and this one over here as well. So yeah, they're all very flexible designs and the interiors can go 
crazy with whatever you want to do on the insides. Pretty hard to go wrong. And yeah, I hope you guys like this. Let me know what you guys think. I'll throw in a map download so you can check out these houses in-game if you would like. And thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, cheers.